dishes of bear bowl, destined for the traditional Chinese medicine trade, the product of a merciless disregard for animal suffering. These images were filmed by the Worldwide Society for the Protection of Animals in Vietnam, where bear farming is still legal. These bears are milked for their bile until their gallbladders collapse. Then they are killed and their parts are sold off. Their life expectancy is months rather than years. This footage was shot secretly for two reasons. This is big business in Asia and people's lives are at risk. And because governments know full well the outcry that follows the screening of such pictures. In Cambodia, the black bears remain protected. It means you shouldn't see this kind of thing. But it still goes on, albeit in secret and illegally, on a smaller scale. Once we've given the search warrant, Nick and Nim T. Meet the combined Wild Aid and Government Wildlife Protection Office Enforcement Unit, a kind of wildlife SWAT squad. A private home in the north of Cambodia. It's about to be raided by police and wildlife officers. They have been told that two black bears are being kept here for biofarm. The squad moves in, protected by police. Violence is always a possibility here, and poachers are normally well armed. The comfortless cage of the trailer. Two bears are indeed here, but it seems they are different to the ones that were the subject of the tip off. Brian Kennelly works with Wild Aid to coordinate the mobile enforcement squad. The guys just told me that the two bears here are different from the last time I visited about three months ago, which corroborates the reports we've had that the owner deals with gallbladders and bile. Unfortunately, the other two bears probably already dead. The gallbladders and the bile probably already been sold along with the skin, the meat, bones, and nothing goes to waste. The bears are sedated before being moved. <laughs> Too late for some, but not for these two. Soon they'll join others at Mary Hutton's Penong Tomeo Rescue Centre, where they will be treated with tender loving care and have a bright future ahead of them. But that won't mean a return to the forest. Most rescued bears have been dependent on humans for food for most of their lives, and they would quickly die or be killed if left to their own devices. Oh, I'm 